First tonight, restaurants are having a hard time getting all of the food and products they need because of pandemic-related shortages. That means owners are scrambling to get what they can. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel joins us live to explain the issues here. Audrey? Camilla, the owner of Mother's Bistro and Bar, tells us that she came to the U.S. Foods Chef's store here earlier today and could not find what she was looking for. The latest example in what's been a difficult time getting everything she needs for her business. So these are the shelves. This is not what Lisa Schroeder wants to see when she's shopping for her restaurant. Empty. She tells us this time she couldn't find lettuce or spinach. In just the latest example of not being able to find product, order product, or get it delivered. We ordered 14 cases of calamari. We can't even get one case, uh, but we may order blue cheese. Sorry, we're all out of blue cheese today. And then when you postpone it, okay, I'll take it the following delivery. No, they can't even make the delivery. She says several of her suppliers for Mother's Bistro and Bar are having pandemic-related issues. For example, in a letter to its customers, the CEO for Cisco, a global food distributor, wrote demand for things has rebounded earlier and stronger than expected. There are labor and supply chain shortages and that the volume of orders is regularly exceeding capacity, saying service has slipped and they're working to improve. Schroeder says in turn, companies are limiting how much she can buy and how often she can get it. It's just everywhere. We're just seeing shortages. We also spoke on the phone with several other places, including coffee shops, saying they're having the same difficulties getting paper goods like lids and sleeves. One place telling us there weren't enough drivers to deliver their milk. Schroeder says they're trying to stay ahead on their orders to avoid running out of things. And thankfully, she does have more than one supplier to turn to. So I'll keep going from here to there until I get what I need. But, you know, there may be times where I have to, as they say, 86 something, I may have to say, sorry, we're out. But now, especially with the uncertainty of the Delta variant, she's not sure when or how this situation might improve. And it's hard enough to run a restaurant. But if you add all these other challenges, it just really adds up. And we reached out to U.S. Foods here to see what they're dealing with, but haven't heard back yet. As far as some possible solutions, in that email from the Cisco CEO, he said they're trying to source alternative products, expand hiring, and offer sign-on bonuses and retention incentives, and plan to create a first-ever driver academy to help get some more of those delivery drivers. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.